Hi YouTube, and welcome to part two of the CAT excavator hydraulic conversion. So today I received all the steel plates for this conversion. So now I can finally assemble this <laughs> without the orange plastic. <laughs> and I gotta say, all of these steel plates, they look pretty good. Uh, all of them are two millimeter thick. Uh, I do, however, have to drill all the holes because they seem to be a little small, but that's okay. That's an easy job. I'm pretty eager to get this going. I'll go ahead and begin disassembling this off camera and then we can assemble everything on camera. So here we have the arms disassembled and this is all the parts that I used to assemble them and these orange parts are now going in the bin since we don't have to use these anymore I think we'll begin assembling the main main boom mount So the main boom mounts are now finished and we can put them aside and begin working on the main boom. So these two pieces are the inside parts for the boom. You line them up like this or we can begin with the back. Let's begin with the back. You take this, the, the metal plate, you line up all the holes. I have already put in bearings on these. Make sure to not put in any screws on these two holes yet, because they will be the final screws you put in, but the other ones you can put in. So now we have one side of the back side finished. We can put the rest together and that's one side finished for the boom now you do the same on the other side Now you take these two steel plates, put them in the top like this, then you put this plastic piece between them, and then you check if the holes line up, you can see here. And that's the main boom finished. Let's put it aside and now let's begin working on the stick. The first thing you do is press bearings in here and also here and also here and here.
And that's the stick. So let's assemble the bucket next. So the bucket is now finished and it's pretty heavy. <laughs> well that went quick, um, all the parts are now assembled already. Now I have to paint them before we mount them onto the excavator and I guess we could begin uh, taking out the electronics from the excavator now and preparing the chassis for the new arms. We have pretty bad weather these days, there's a storm going on outside right now, so I'm unable to paint these parts, at least today. Hopefully I can paint them tomorrow and begin assembling them on the chassis. So I'm going to go grab the excavator now and begin taking off the old uh, arms and taking out all the electronics so we can install hydraulics instead. This bench suddenly got a lot messier. <laughs> but we do have some good news though. Uh, I got the arms out and the electronics that goes for the arms. I won't be needing those for this excavator. So the, the electronics that's sitting in here now is the ESC for the uh, turning motor. And also the two ESCs for the track motors. I will still be using them so they will stay other than that, uh, this chassis is now ready for some hydraulic parts. Uh, you might notice that the middle brace is also taken out. Uh, that's because I'm going to attach it to the new uh, boom mounts. And I gotta paint all the new parts before I uh, get to install them on this chassis though. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, that tomorrow is wind free and rain free. 
or even snow free <laughs> well that's a lot to ask living in Norway and all but you can always hope and man I gotta say the parts they look so much better with some steel added to them <laughs> anyway guys that's it for this video and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you soon bye bye